Kurt Oskar Heinrich, Ludwig Wilhelm von Tippelskirch, was born on October 9, 1891, in Charlottenburg, in Berlin, within the German Empire. On January 5, 1941, he took command of the 30th Infantry Division, which later participated in Operation Barbarossa, almost three weeks later. As part of Army Group North, the division prevented the breakthrough of a Soviet Red Army Corps on the river, Pola, in Russia, and then went on to counter-attack. The battle lasted a week and Tippelskirch distinguished himself as the commander of the division. He was awarded on November 23, 1941, the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross, in the winter of 1942. The 30th Infantry Division was encircled in the Demyansk pocket, and he was ordered to be flown out. In August 1942, he was assigned to be the liaison officer of the Italian 8th Army near the Don River. This position was extremely awkward for Tippelskirch because he had no German staff at his disposal and the Italians were reluctant to seek advice from German officers. The Italian 8th Army was sent into the Battle of Stalingrad at the end of 1942, but Tippelskirch was recalled from the front in February 1943. On February 18, Tippelskirch became the commanding general of the 12th Army Corps. He served in this position until June 4, 1944, when he had to assume command of the 4th Army from General Gotthard Heinrichi. Soon after, the Soviet Union commenced Operation Bagration on June 22, 1944. The 4th Army was defending the Mojilev area of Belarus and repeatedly requested permission to retreat, but the approval came too late, although Tippelskirch and most of the army managed to withdraw to behind the Dnieper River, but 4th Army was still threatened by three Soviet fronts. The 4th Army was circled east of Minsk on July 1, 1944, and most units of the army were forced to surrender on July 8. Luckily for him, Tipple Skirch was outside the pocket and managed to escape capture. On July 18, he suffered severe injuries in a plane crash, and on July 30, he received the Knight's Cross with oak leaves for his achievements in the fighting at Mojilev. On October 31, 1944, he entered back into service and replaced General Otto von Nolsdorf as the commander of the First Army in Alsace Lorraine. On December 13, he took over as the commander of the 14th Army during the Italian campaign. He commanded the 14th Army until the end of February 1945. At the end of April that year, Tipple Skirch took command of the 21st Army in Mecklenburg and Brandenburg. On April 29, General Gotthard Heinrichi was dismissed, and he was ordered by Field Marshal Wilhelm Keitel to temporarily take over command of the Army Group. He reluctantly complied, taking the opportunity to negotiate with the Western Allies. He surrendered on May 2, 1945 in the Ludwig's Lust region of Eastern Germany to American forces. He died on May 10, 1957, in Lüneburg, in Lower Saxony, in West Germany, aged 65.